Normally you would think that being over 50 and being overweight would be excellent qualifications to become a prime minister, a president or some kind of world leader. But I've decided that I don't quite have the hairstyle for it. So I've gone down an equally unlikely route and become a cyclist. Up until very recently, I always thought that your typical roadie cyclist was a young man in his 20s who was super slim and super fit. But over the last few years, I've noticed that more and more people that I see out on the road are just like me. So while they might not be quite as gravitationally challenged as me, they're certainly as old as me. And in some cases, I've seen people in their 60s, 70s or even their 80s still out and about cycling and still having fun. So yes, I am over 50 and overweight and that raises the obvious question, why do I cycle? Well, many people cycle for many different reasons. Transport, fitness and fun being the three biggies. Having said that though, I'll admit now that I don't generally ride for transport. Firstly, I don't have a daily commute and even if I did, I'd have to take far too much stuff along with me to make it practical. By the same token, if I were to go down to the shops and do some shopping, I generally stock up for the week so again, I wouldn't be able to take that much stuff on the bike with me. And nor do I cycle to lose weight. The long and the short of it is that I've been riding a bike for over 50 years and if losing weight was my goal, I'm sure I would have done it by now. That's not to say that I haven't lost weight over the years, but that says more about my diet than the amount that I've been cycling. But yes, I do realise that being overweight can have some negative implications on your health. And while I'm not dismissing them, I'm not going to cover it here because that's another film for another day. So having just spent the first few minutes of this vlog saying why I don't cycle, let's now talk about some of the reasons why I do cycle. Now for me personally, top of the list has to be fitness. There's no denying that going out on your bike for two or three hours and getting your heart, legs and lungs working can be an incredible benefit for your cardiovascular system. I may well be overweight, but I would also say that thanks to cycling, I'm also fairly fit. One of the issues that we face these days is adults just not getting enough exercise. Many people recommend that you should go out and do at least 30 minutes a day of cardiovascular exercise. And if you can do that, you reduce your risk of heart disease by up to 70%. When you cycle in higher gears, cycling is also a great way to get some resistance exercise and that way you'll strengthen your muscles and your bones. And just as important as our physical health these days is our mental health. And obviously going out on the bike, being in the fresh air and just having fun is a great way to improve your mental health. be the first person to admit that I'm not the strongest or the fastest of cyclists and many people would argue that if that's the case what on earth do you need a cycling computer for? Can't you just go out and enjoy the fresh air and the countryside? Well yes I can but I'm also a bit techy so I do like having all of the gadgets plus I do like looking at the numbers and my feeling is that if you can measure something, you can improve something. And while I may not be going out to win any races, it's not about that. It's about challenging myself to be better than I was yesterday. As I said earlier, I've been riding a bike now in one form or another for about 50 years. 
It started off when I was five, riding a little kid's bike, and then moved on to when I was a teenager. It was my way of getting to school, it was my main form of transport, and it was a way that I spent time with my friends. As an adult, cycling became my main form of exercise and very quickly became an integral part of my identity. So if I were to stop cycling right now, I would cease being the person that I am. Above all though, cycling is just great fun. I absolutely love just getting on my bike when the sun's shining and going for a two or three hour ride. In fact, when it is warm and sunny, I find it hard not to go out on the bike. And I'm particularly blessed living here on the south coast of the UK. I also get a real buzz knowing that I've traveled 50, 60, 70 kilometers or more using nothing but my own steam to get me there. And I absolutely love the sense of achievement when I've got to the top of a particularly difficult climb. Being a cyclist is not just about winning races or even being competitive. It's about being the person that you want to be for whatever the hell reason you choose. For me, it's like sticking two fingers up to the people that say you can't be a cyclist because you're too old or you're too fat. To them, I say, watch me. For everybody that wants to join me on the journey, I say, thanks for watching.